Hey you guys, this is John from Grab and Go and today I decided to make this video on keeping your stoves and deep fryers and flat grills and so forth, uh, keeping them clean to prevent a grease fire. Something recently happened to me where I was lighting this stove here. If you notice on the left hand side there is a red button right there. And there is a red uh, uh, striker button also. And somehow I was lighting the stove and kind of fell asleep on this gas feed button. And when I hit this button, I had a an excessive amount of gas underneath that kind of scared me. You know what I mean? But I got, got it under control. Now the whole thing is, if I had a lot of grease and stuff under there, it could have been worse. Because uh, grease fires... Most grease fires happen in kitchen in kitchens across America because of lack of maintenance, cleanliness. So I decided to do a video on grease fires and cleaning stoves the proper way. Uh, this stove right here, uh, we used it last weekend for two days and um, we've baked a lot of stuff. So in other words, I'm going to clean this part. You got to make sure you clean the bottom part. To see all, where all the crud and everything is you got to make sure you clean that you know in case of a fire you can prevent the fire by the way and grease fires are not your regular fire so you can't use a regular class fire extinguisher if you have a grease fire do not throw water at it you'll, you'll only make it worse now in this case this stove here is your I got one two stage stove the five button stove there's a pan underneath that pan right here, you have to make sure that when you're done work, that stuff gets cleaned and removed all the grease and everything from it. Okay, let's start with the deep fryers. In this case here, we worked Saturday and Sunday. And let me tell you, we feed over 300 people a day. So this thing gets put to work. The first thing that I do when I'm done work, I spray around the deep fryers. I spray, you know... A solution to you know loosen up the grease some so today is Wednesday I did it on sad uh, Sunday under here when I drain the oil what I do is I vacuum the leftover crud and grease and stuff that's under there so that that goes in the vacuum cleaner and it is disposed of the proper way in a grease trap which I do have a grease trap if you have a commissary you can always use your commissary to either clean your truck or trailer or you can always dump your oil and stuff there in this case we got two deep fryers and I also did the same thing <clears throat> here also now if you notice you know I keep these things clean you see this you know you see the grill you look at the baskets it's not that bad comparing to, to what I've, other stuff that I you know that I saw anyway over here, if you're going to notice that I have a shield, that shield, I build a shield just so I can keep the heat from coming at me when I'm standing in front of the deep fryers at work. And right here is an exhaust system that I also built that goes into an exhaust fan right here, which pulls the, the flue gas out of the back of the deep fryers and just... It makes it about 20 degrees, maybe 30 degrees cooler in here when I'm working, especially in the summertime. It's brutal here in Florida. Okay, so that goes out. All right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean these deep fryers and I'll get back with another video and show you the before. Well, which you, this is the before video and the after. Alrighty, so I'll see you in the next video.